Hi, I'm Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. We're here again for another installment of the Monday Maddox Technique Series. Uh, we work on exercises by one of the pioneers of jazz dance, Matt Maddox. He created a very um, intricate and precise technique using isolation and coordinated arm movements, all oriented around the idea of jazz dance training. So in my last video, I gave the head isolation with coordinated arms and the easy jazz fourth. That was the entry level. Today, we're going to get a little bit harder. We're really going to alternate the arms, make it much more complex, hit the jazz fourth, and a little different fashion. Um, as I said in the last video, Matt probably had, oh God, how many, you know, 10, 15 different variations of this exercise. And of course, he would put other exercises to immediately follow it. So it was always something to challenge your mind um, and keep you on your toes in class. So anyway, this is the second version with a little bit uh, more complex arms and also a little bit more complex on the jazz fourth. So here we go. Okay, we start with feet together, toes together. I turn out to ballet first, and then I open the heels to jazz first. Good parallel position. Now my head isolation, I'm gonna repeat two times uh, as compared to the last exercise that we did. So we have front, center, back, center, front, center, back, center. That was two times. Then I go right, center, left, center, right, center, left. So we're just doubling the amount. But the arms are going to fold initially like the last exercise and press down, but then I'm going to reverse up in and down. So the first section will be front, center, back, center, front, center, back, center. Now when I go to the side, I fold open, hold a count in, then I alternate out, out, in, in, down. That's a tricky one. So I have one, two, hold three, four, hold five, and six, and seven, eight. That goes with the head going to the side. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. Let's try that one one more time, because that's a real tricky one. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. So I put that together, front, center, back, center, front, center, back, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left, down. When I go to my jazz fourth, I'm gonna change. I'm still going to the right side first, but I'm gonna back into the position and use a little bit of a contraction. So I step back with the right foot, contract, tuck it under, fold the arms, as I transition, I come through this neutral position of parallel feet and arms in neutral into the jazz fourth. Then I'm going to recover the same way I normally do to the parallel tendu and step down. So that's all in two counts. So I go one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Now I'm on to the other side. So I have front, center, back, center, front, center, then I go left, center, right, center, left, and six, and seven, eight, one, two, jazz, fourth, up on the hip, and close. So that's our much more complicated arm uh, pattern, and also the jazz fourth is a little bit more advanced in terms of going into plie, using the contraction and the pivot. So let's do that a little bit more up to tempo. So we have six, seven, eight, and front, center, Center, front, center, back, center, right, center, left, center, right, and six, and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, other side, and front, center, back, center, front, center, and then we go left, center, right, center, left, and six, and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Matt would add many more things after that. There would be a contraction on the side. There could be rond de jambes. There could be a side pose position. There were many different things that would tack on to it. But that's our second uh, version in terms of the head isolation with the jazz fourth. It's really good. It's very tricky. We always perform it with loose elbows and loose wrists. So there's nothing tense in the body happening when we do that. So anyway, that's another exercise by Matt Maddox from the Monday Maddox series. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll always get a notification when I put up a new video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.